Gemini Dragons, welcome to your September 2021 reading. Um, I have drawn out some overall energy cards here. So what's come out for you is higher power, fork in the road, and message in the bottle. I have a feeling like um, you're really having to move inward. Um, to deal with some sort of situation, right? And that's where you're gonna get this message from. Because I feel like you have s choices, right? You have some pretty big decisions to make. And with that, you need to, um, you just need to go inward to try to seek the answers that you're looking for regarding this, okay? So, yeah. This, it's, it's going to be, um, yeah, you're just going to have to sit back and, um, there's something there waiting to come to you. You just need to just connect, reconnect. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some cards. Let's find out what Gemini story is for September, please. While I'm getting some cards, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. Please like the video. I do appreciate, um, I do appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. And that's, if I can get around to bonuses this month, this is how I'm going to determine them because this month is also the Equinox readings. So it's, um, it's adding a whole nother level of readings into a very busy time. So so please be sure to like, even if it isn't to get a bonus reading, just to support the channel. I do appreciate it, guys. So let's get some cards. I would do this off camera, but then people sort of are like, oh, I w why can't we see you shuffle? So that's why I pull the three overall energies. Come on. Can I get a few more cards? So I think we're good. So let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get an idea of what's going on here. So your Ten of Cups was sideways. So I see that as a bridging energy to get into where we are now. So when with Ten of Cups, um, it's, it, this is all about your happiness, okay? This is, um, so the Ten of Cups is known, as, I'm sorry, I don't know if you're, yeah, there we go, we got a pretty good view there. The Ten of Cups is the most emotionally fulfilling card. Okay, it's family, celebration, security, harmony, happiness, blah, 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 right? When it's upside down, it just means that there's, um, it could mean like a broken home or marriage, but it can also mean just delays in getting there. So I feel like something has obviously definitely affected your happiness deeply. And then you have your nine of pentacles in reverse. So I, I feel like you having to wait for this or you having this loss, um, it's, I, I feel like it wasn't a healthy relationship because this is about losing your independence. I feel like it might've been codependent, okay? And queen of pentacles in reverse, right? So it's an imbalance of work and family. Um, or this is also that somebody was blocking you with this, right? Like there was somebody or something that was, that's been blocking you from your happiness, right? So, um, it could be that there is a third party situation so that you thought that you were on the right path and somebody is blocking you. It doesn't have to be third party. And that doesn't mean that it's like some sneaky affair. It just means that there's somebody, it could be a family member. There was somebody that was blocking you, right? 
and there was lots there's lots and lots of the seven of wands excuse me there's lots of um sort of fighting you had to really hold your ground okay you 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 weren't giving up um you, you you just kept going and going and fighting for it and you have been victorious then you go to the six of wands okay you are getting recognized okay and i and i just heard divinely right you are being recognized for this okay um yeah so yeah you're getting away from this energy you're uh, you have the high priestess you've drawn inside okay and that's what this higher power is you this and, and this is when um you've gone inside and you found your own healing capabilities you healed yourself you got yourself out of this sort of it's like you found yourself again. So back here is where you had lost yourself. It was not a good relationship, okay? But you were victorious in moving on and finding yourself. You have the two of wands. You've made the decision um, to say yes to something new, okay? You've, um, it's about passion. You've made choices. Um, and, and, and you just decided to move on, right? You ju you've just decided to move on with it. And then we have the Hierophant. Yeah. With the Hierophant, I feel that you've done so much work with this High Priestess, that you've brought in so much education to yourself, so much um, enlightenment and knowledge, that you're going back because you have the six of swords in reverse you're going back um as a changed person does that make sense i feel like this is your fork right here the six of swords in reverse you don't know and and this is the two of ones too you don't know if you should go back or if you should just keep moving ahead. And this is what you're waiting for is this message. Okay? You're just waiting for something, right? You're waiting for something tangible to come in, right? Um, yeah, it's a star, right? So you're hoping for... Um, Like you see freedom and love and connection and you are feeling sort of peaceful about it and calm. It's a beautiful energy to have when dealing with this. It's like you've come in and approached the situation as a new person. Could be Aquarius, but don't worry about that. Um, and this is also that... The star is also where you're, this is like the divine stepping in and saying, hey, you know what? I am so done with whatever this is. And just because there's only a few cards back here doesn't mean that it was a big, long haul, right? It wasn't small. It's just that you're at the end of it. It's a sort of giving an overall, yeah, this was not a happy thing, okay? So let's get some cards. Let's see. So, what I asked was, 
I asked if if you if you go back if you go back what's going to happen um, and we got the five of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse so the five of pentacles in reverse if you do go back to the situation um, it means that you're going to go ahead and, um, so it says not to take risks. So I feel like if you go back, it needs to be a stable situation. If you go back to return to this, right? Um, you need to recover. Um, It, it, you're you're also recovering you're gonna recover spiritually and financially I don't know where finances come into this but financially from the seven of swords is in reverse too so you're gonna be breaking free from these challenges right you're gonna if you go back I feel like it's gonna heal um, when you go back right um it it's going to okay I, I just got in it now guys so if you go back i feel like you're going to be healing on on a, a few different levels okay it's almost like you need to go back so that you can assist this to move ahead somebody else got a reading like this for bonuses or for the full moon it's moving forward but going back and it's sort of like everything is coming through again I asked what if you move ahead and you make the choice to move ahead instead you got the nine of wands in reverse so it's about um, I, I feel like you might not be able to move on from this right because even justice is in reverse I don't think you're going to be able to move on from this. Um, you're going to, I don't think you're going to heal um, too much because your nine of wands is reverse. You have your ace of swords in the upright and the justice in reverse. I feel like you're going to keep trying, but I actually think you're being divinely guided to go back here and to really try to get this to, to work, this past energy to um, to move forward, okay, such a strange, um, I hope this makes sense for you guys, I feel like you've, so what I'm hearing is you're being divinely guided and you've done your healing so that you can go back and, and pick something up or someone up and take them with you, right, like you're meant to go and help them now when I say that please 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 guys not a toxic relationship not um, so there might have been toxic traits obviously back here but the person isn't toxic the situation is and so I feel like you're meant to show somebody you're meant to guide somebody into their way one more shuffle oh there we go you're meant to um you meant to guide the way for them right so okay so for you guys for your your energy is you have unicorn and money so unicorn is invite serendipity okay and you have money find a way to abundance I don't think that it's just financial with the money thing I do think that it's more than that so let me find unicorn quickly and I'm gonna read it to you mysterious playful and pure the unicorn is universally beautiful mysterious and difficult to capture and tame it is fierce and protective yet admirable the unicorn is the symbol of serendipity, the occurrence of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. This card represents good luck and making unexpected and favorable discoveries. Expect magic to happen. Luck is on your side. Mantra, I accept and invite serendipity into my life. Okay, beautiful Geminis. So sort of a strange reading, but definitely an informed one. Okay, so... I will see you for your new moon reading.
very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.